Hello friend and uh, welcome back to the workshop. Today we're gonna be working in the Gladius and uh, for a long time I bet still working in the Gladius but today's episode is gonna be about the engraving in the middle of the blade itself between the wings and uh, also talking about the signification between, uh, behind it and also working on the pommel, putting that wheel geometry into it and um, yeah, putting that brass circle on the two side. Yeah, I bet. No, it's circle is simply the outer, what it is, uh, it's round shape, yeah, you understand. <laughs> So I don't want to go really in deep into the detail and the signification bit because this will be a topic for another day. But you have to simply know that the middle of the blade is uh, considered of a lady, a winged lady holding a stone up on her head. And from that stone come ways, rays of light that are shining all through the blade and will be also closing the two opening that I did on the blade, which one having an eye on it. So the ray of light themselves are mostly in the length of the blade, but the because it's a shining stone, a shining sun kind of, it's gonna ray everywhere, and uh, so you can see it's in a half circle, uh, shining everywhere. Why is it simply that small? Because the wings will be on the side, so there's no need to go further. But uh, yeah, it's also representing the fact that it's shining everywhere. Now working on the pummel, but uh, I actually managed to run out of gas very quickly, so that was not something that I did a lot that day. So apparently today is one of those days where I cannot do a thing without messing things up, so um, I'm gonna do one last thing before I finish. It's actually uh, flatten this area uh, on the grinder because this groove the middle one is too deep and I cannot properly inlay in it so I'm gonna do that and that'd be the end
we can see me lightly hammering down the filament into the groove and then using a brass shaft to really precisely put it in because uh, the issue with the blade itself compared to other engravings that I did is that it is not a surface that is able to be properly grind and a lot so every mark that I'm putting on it I need to not be that deep and really just very light so I'm using the shaft to focus the energy that I'm putting in. And of course, uh, there's two sides of the blade, so now it's time for the other side, uh, which will face exactly the same problem of having a too deep of a groove, but I did not show it uh, this time around. So now it's forging time and uh, we kind of know that I tend to run away from forging because I'm quite bad at it on a lot of levels. And so why did I forge this block for doing the pummel? And it's actually because the pummel has um, kind of a whale tail um, fin kind of shape. So I wanted to put it in with the circle, the round to really extrude that form, which actually did not work as I planned, but uh, actually I tried, and also the fact that the block was too short, so the extrusion in itself was necessary. On this shot, I was explaining to you that I gave up on giving the round shape to the pummel itself and I simply decided to extrude it, but you cannot hear a single word that I said because the birds behind me were way too loud and I didn't figure that out.
I'm a little annoyed because the driller that I use is in 32 millimeters and I thought it was a 30. So there's one step that I could not go through and uh, I will need to file down all the steps that are here, which will take a time. So yeah, I'm going to start with that. At first I was kind of afraid that uh, the fitting itself would be a bit too large or that I, I simply file it a bit too open. But having hammered it down for 15 minutes just to it to go through, I think this will hold out in time for sure. Another step to be sure that everything will hold properly is that I mushroom the two sides of it like, like if it was a pin of 3cm in diameter, but like if it was a pin. I zoom a bit just to show you, but the quantity of little metal things that you see jumping are simply pure metal splinter that will go everywhere and take hours to take off. So that's why I'm wearing a glove, because that this part of itself is hell. I don't know if you remember from the blade episode, but the blade itself is very heavy. And I don't want to have the gladius to be weighing like 10 kilograms. So everywhere I can win a bit of weight, I'm actually trying to fight for it. And on this case, if that, I'm gonna make the top of the pummel thinner than the bottom. So as you can see, there's a bit of a gap between the brass and the steel itself. This is not too much of a trouble because I'm going to be hammering down on the brass and the steel and that's going to, in a sense, forge them and make them move into the gap to close it. So if you watched the episode about the endel, uh, you remember that on the endel itself there's a chamfer and that chamfer will be also transferred to the pommel itself. So that's why I'm using one piece of the endel to really give the, piece, the dimension of the chamfer right and then I will scribe it and grind it onto the pommel. Well, friends, it's gonna be all for today, and uh, I'll show you the pommel correctly, but I really like the geometry of it. It's really nice, the way that you can hold it in your hand in different position. And the engraving itself took way more time than I was supposed to, but yeah, the, it's really nice. Uh, there's simply two or three touch-ups that I need to do, I think, but that's all. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and see you next week. And also subscribe, by the way. Bye.